Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to today's lesson on cutaneous nerves of the neck. The skin overlying the trapezius muscle on the back of the neck and on the back of the scalp as high as the vertex is supplied segmentally by a posterior rami of cervical nerves 2 to 5. The greater occipital nerve is a branch of the posterior ramus of the second cervical nerve. The first cervical nerve has no cutaneous branch. This was about the cutaneous innervation to the back of the neck. Now we will study about cutaneous innervation to the skin on the front and sides of the neck. So the skin of the front and sides of the neck is supplied by anterior rami of cervical nerves 2 to 4 through branches of the cervical plexus. The branches emerge from beneath the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So the nerves are the lesser occipital nerve, the great auricular nerve, the transverse cutaneous nerve, and the supraclavicular nerves. So first of all, we'll discuss the lesser occipital nerve. The lesser occipital nerve hooks around the accessory nerve and ascends along the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle to supply the skin over the lateral part of the occipital region and the medial surface of the auricle. So, the lesser occipital nerve supplies the skin over the lateral part of the occipital region and the medial surface of the auricle. The second nerve is the great auricular nerve. The great auricular nerve ascends across the sternocleidomastoid muscle and divides into branches that supply the skin over the angle of the mandible, the parotid gland, and on both surfaces of the auricle. So, the great auricular nerve supplies the skin over the angle of the mandible, the parotid gland, and on both surfaces of the auricle. The third nerve is the transverse cutaneous nerve. The transverse cutaneous nerve, also known as the transverse cervical nerve, emerges from behind the middle of the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. It passes forward across the muscle and divides into branches that supply the skin on the anterior and lateral surfaces of the neck from the body of the mandible to the sternum. So, it supplies the skin on the anterior and lateral surfaces of the neck from the body of the mandible to the sternum. The fourth nerve is the supraclavicular nerve. The supraclavicular nerves emerge from beneath the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and descend across the side of the neck. They pass onto the chest wall and shoulder region down to the level of the second rib. The supraclavicular nerves are divided into three branches, the medial branch, the intermediate branch, and the lateral branch. So the medial supraclavicular nerve crosses the medial end of the clavicle and supplies the skin as far as the median plane. The intermediate supraclavicular nerve crosses the middle of the clavicle and supplies the skin of the chest wall. The lateral supraclavicular nerve crosses the lateral end of the clavicle and supplies the skin over the shoulder and the upper half of the deltoid muscle. This nerve also supplies the posterior aspect of the shoulder as far down as the spine of the scapula. The medial branch supplies the skin as far as the median plane. The intermediate supraclavicular nerve supplies the skin of the chest wall. The lateral supraclavicular nerve supplies the skin over the shoulder and the upper half of the deltoid muscle. This nerve also supplies the posterior aspect of the shoulder as far down as the spine of the scapula. This brings us to the end of the lesson on cutaneous nerves of the neck. Thank you.